So, you've probably heard a bunch of whispers and seen the headlines wondering if YG and Sweetie were on the outs, right? Well, let me clear the air for you. These two are still thick as thieves, totally into each other, and any talk about them splitting? Yeah, that's been totally busted, right? Tap like and subscribe, because YG and Sweetie's love story has more unexpected drops than my phone's battery life. So here's the scoop that went down on March 16th, 2024, at like 4.51 in the morning. Who even gets up that early, right? YG is rocking the stage at Rolling Loud, California, a massive hip-hop fest in Inglewood. The crowd's vibing, the music's bumping, and then boom, he drops a love bomb by bringing Sweetie up on stage out of nowhere. Everyone's like, weren't they supposed to be done as though? Nope, not even close. Back in January, there were whispers everywhere that YG and Saweetie had hit a rough patch and maybe even called it quits. But you know how it is with rumors. They're like wildfire. Fast forward a bit and things took a surprising turn. At the Rolling Loud Festival in Los Angeles this March, YG totally flipped the script. In a moment that had everyone's phones out and social media buzzing, he brought Saweetie on stage. But it wasn't just a casual cameo. YG went all in, giving her a big hug from behind and whispering into her ear. Then, in a move that caught everyone off guard, he loudly proclaimed his love for her. I love you, girl. Imagine the crowd's reaction. They were absolutely thrilled, cheering them on like the finale of a blockbuster movie. The backstory to this saga is as colorful as their public display of affection. Their relationship first caught the public's eye around March 2023, starting off with sightings and appearances that got everyone talking. They were seen cozying up in Cabo, and Saweetie was YG's plus one at several high-profile events. This wasn't just a fling, it looked serious. However, by January 2024, the rumor mill was in overdrive with talk of their breakup. Yet, in a classic celebrity move, YG seemed to quash those rumors by posting a photo of them looking pretty close at a Beyonce concert. It was his way of saying, we're still good, without having to spell it out. First off, imagine everyone's surprise when Cardi B rocks up at the last show of Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour. And it's not just any show, it's in Kansas City, where things are wrapping up. Cardi decides to dive into Beyonce's Mute Challenge, which, let me tell you, had everyone talking. While some dude got a bit too loud during one of these challenges at a previous show and got slapped, yikes, Cardi played it cool, followed the rules, and stayed silent, though she wasn't too pleased about others not keeping keeping it down. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, Beyonce drops a bombshell the next day. A concert film is coming out. It's all about her tour from the start in Stockholm to the big finale in Kansas City. The film's gonna dive deep into Beyonce's vision, her insane work ethic, and how she crafted this tour into something magical. She wants to create a space where everyone feels free and unjudged, which, let's be honest, is pure Beyonce. Cardi B, not one to stay in the shadows, releases a bad banging track called Tasty, featuring Lotto, Tiga, and YG. Yup, YG's in there too, bringing it all full circle. This collab has got everyone bopping and just adds another layer to the already epic saga of music royalty doing their thing in 2024. And just when you thought it couldn't get any more awe-worthy, as Saweetie starts to bounce off the stage, YG's right there behind her, still pouring out those three magic words. If that's not shouting from the rooftops that they're still a thing, I don't know what is. So back in May last year, this couple was all over the sunny vibes in Cabo, Mexico. They were basically inseparable, splashing around and locking lips by the pool, sparking a whole wildfire of likes and shares on social media with their lovey-dovey antics. But then, fast forward to the start of this year, and out of the blue, Blue, the rumor mill starts churning out stuff about them, maybe hitting a rocky patch. Totally confusing, right? Especially when YG wasn't just gonna sit there and let the gossip fly. Bam! Just when everyone's scratching their heads, YG flips the script and hits everyone with a throwback clip of them all cuddled up at a Beyonce concert. Talk about a power move. In the midst of all this, are they, aren't they drama? YG's like, check this out, reminding everyone they're still all about each other, all cozy, and wrapped up in that 
concert vibe, with Queen Bey doing her thing on stage. And hey, speaking of Beyonce, she's absolutely killing it with her 2024 Renaissance World Tour, her big solo comeback tour since 2016, zigzagging from Europe to lighting up stages across North America. On the flip side, YG's not just chilling, he's been smashing it at Juicy Fest Sydney in January 2024, showing the world he's got game two. So what's the takeaway from all this buzz and whirlwind of events? From sun-kissed PDA in Cabo to squashing breakup rumors with a throwback video and both doing their thing on global tours, it's clear this duo's ride is anything but a snooze fest. And now, after that whole stage declaration of love, it's crystal clear YG and Sawiti are still burning hot. So to anyone still thinking they're done, no they're just heating up, showing everyone that love's still very much in the air. Talk about Koopla goals, am I right? But what if we're all wrong and YG and Saweetie haven't actually split up? Yeah, it's been all over the place. They've decided to just be friends, which honestly sounds pretty chill given how crazy their schedules are. They were together for a hot minute. But hey, sometimes things just don't work out, and that's cool. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Word on the street is that YG might be trying to slide back into Kalani's DMs. I mean, he's been dropping comments on her Insta, which is pretty much the modern way of saying, hey, remember me? We've all been there, right? Trying to rekindle something with an ex can be messy, but also kind of exciting. Kalani and YG were a thing back in the day, and it looks like YG's got some nostalgia going on. But let's not forget about Sawidi. She's out there living her best life, posting cryptic messages that might be shade, might be wisdom, who knows? And YG's doing the same, echoing her posts. The drama, right? Then, plot twist, YG and Sawidi were spotted together again. It's like a roller coaster with these two. YG even posted a pic saying, Sawidi's the only block he wants to spin. Dude, make up your mind. One day you're in love, the next you're throwing subtle shade on Instagram, and then bam, you're back together. It's a wild ride. And in other news, there's buzz about Young Miami's new show on BET. But guess who's not going to be on it? Diddy. Yeah, despite their thing, Bet's keeping it diddy free due to some legal stuff he's dealing with. Young Miami's been hustling though, getting new content ready for the show. She's not letting anything slow her down. Keep up with the love saga of YG and Saweetie by hitting like and subscribing.